Hi Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to get you some important messages that you need to hear today. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 24th of April, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 12.24 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign okay let's get your reading started spirit and angels please show me for virgo taurus and capricorn important messages that they need to hear today the judgment in reverse at the bottom of the deck and oh thank god for the ten of cups <laughs> this for me indicates happily ever after there's um a light at the end of the tunnel see eight of cups is right here so moving moving towards the ten of cups moving towards happiness moving towards a reunion for some of you uh, it could be a family reunion some of you are going to meet um a family member or going home going somewhere or a ton of cups sometimes can indicate a reconciliation between you and someone okay but i feel like generally virgo taurus and capricorns is trying to encourage you or you know the ton of cups just looks really positive trying to think positive because the cups you know this is definitely a very happy energy rainbow there is um what do you call there's goal at the at the um at the end of the rainbow what do you call that i can't remember that that saying um but anyway a pot of goal <laughs> at the end of the rainbow so something very positive is going to come out of this situation for some of you you could be struggling right with the queen of pentacles here in my first some of you, you feel like you may have to ten of wands it's like losing yourself in the process of doing everything on your own um for this is virgo taurus capricorn this is your energy with the queen of pentacles here right so with it being more first and also with this ten of wands you have some of you just carrying way too many responsibilities um to a point where you feel like you have lost a part of yourself or you lost yourself in the process or could also be feeling kind of tired or lethargic could be mentally emotionally and we've got the hermit here so i see some of you will be looking deep within as in should i be doing all of these on my own it is so hard doing this on my own for some of you you may be feeling lonely in the process of it uh, for some of you you literally could be single okay if you're single the hermit here indicates loneliness and with the nine of wands i'm lonely but i'm scared you know with the ten of cups here some of you may have some trauma in regards to relationships love because you've been hurt before so a little bit guarded or very guarded for some of you in regards to you know starting a new relationship or taking a connection to the next level that's for some of you okay but generally mm, energy wise uh virgo taurus capricorn i feel like you it's almost like is this this is so hard that i have to do this on my own but at the same time i feel like i have to do this on my own and that this is a wise thing to do um you may be feeling that way but there's a part of yourself that you feel something is incomplete right the moon here is in one verse and we've got the magician in one verse this energy of fear insecurities in regards of something that you really want and that, and that you really want to manifest is not going to happen i feel like Spirit is trying to encourage you to not have this fear because the moon here is in one verse, death here is in one verse. So Spirit also could be saying that you are a survivor, you have been a survivor, and I definitely see you as a very strong uh, individual, okay? And Eight of Cups, maybe you've climbed the mountains, 
because look, there are mountains here. You've climbed the mountains. Some of you, it takes climbing the mountain, okay, before like getting down a mountain, then it's much, then it's much easier. The Ten of Cups here feels like again, um, there's a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow, at the other side, at the other side of the rainbow. It feels like a reward. Um, so it says, some of you, maybe you need to reward yourself, okay? Do something that makes you happy. But I definitely foresee this very happy, you know, all these look so bleak right now at this moment. And I'm also an earth sign. Um, but I feel like cups can indicate hope, right? Hoping for the best. Um, and Eight of Cups is like moving away from difficulties because right here, it looks difficult, moving away from the difficulty. Some of you are just changing your environment from drab or, you know, um, difficult, challenging to like another place, Ten of Cups, that is much more harmonious, positive for you, a sense of um, community, right? One, two, three, four. It, yeah, it could mean a family. It could mean family or a community that live, that lives, like everyone lives together harmoniously. So, I feel like some of, some of you could be searching for that, right? With the hermit here. Where is my happily ever after? Where is that thing that you want to achieve that's going to make you feel whole? feel complete, um, feel happy, right? Again, if you are single, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, for those of you who are single, I feel like it says, you know, again, just hang in there, 10 of wands, although it's hard, but, you know, you've got two tens here, that means you're almost there, you're almost there, and you've got eight of cups here, just keep moving, just keep moving, that's what it's saying here, and look at this moon here, this person, the moon is not really not really smiling, not really frowning either, but this energy makes me feel like, it's like it's sad for me to walk away from this, but I know there's a better plan for me, a better future for me. Some of you, you may have left something or thinking about leaving something behind for like a better future, um, somewhere where you would find um, happiness, okay? Perhaps it says you need to keep looking, right? When you look, you will find because there is something out there for you that you're going to feel accepted, that you're going to feel happy, you're going to feel included, okay? But it could also indicate some of you, this is what's coming up, which is a connection that is wholesome, um, family, it could be related to family, it could be related to love, romantic situation, See, the hermit is very lonely. One person, one, two, three, four, five, you know, six. These cards here, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these cards here shows that, these cards here shows that there's only one person doing everything, right? But then the last card, which is the Ten of Cups here, there are multiple people in there, so... So it feels like you're not going to be alone anymore. Perhaps some of you, you need to remove yourself from that energy, feeling lonely, or remove yourself from a situation, from an environment in pursuit for your happiness. Perhaps the happiness, your happiness um, is in the horizon. Perhaps it's not with who you're with right now or someone from your past, thoughts from your past, um, or the environment or situation you're at right now. It, it's somewhere else. It lies somewhere else. I like the song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. What is the, is, is that the title of the song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow? But anyway, don't have to comment because I've already disabled comments. <laughs> but let me pull out a few more cards here, okay? Let's see more. See, two of cups, and I've got the high priestess. Partnership. Some of you is a partnership related to work. Some of you it's a partnership related to um, a romantic connection. We've got the high priestess here. High priestess carries all the secrets, carries all the uh, information, is the guard of this temple, right? And she's holding the scroll 
that has all of these secrets right here so it's already written so some of you maybe something is written in a book that is meant to happen that is destined for for you to for it to happen but then again it takes like a period of reflection a period of feeling lonely a period of feeling guarded i guess this is part of the process right until you completely walk away from it completely disconnect yourself from this whole process like it's like a new i know there is no world card here but it is to me a new chapter right ten of cups number 10 indicates an ending but also indicates a new beginning you've got two tens here right it's all going to be worth it okay the judgment here is in reverse i feel like there is going to be a connection where both of you are not going to be you know judging each other both of you are going to be on the same page like-minded and both of you um with the high priestess here it's like have the same understanding this person possibly is in a in in your future coming in somebody maybe this person is already in your life right hmm. some of you could be looking into higher education or learning something new changing jobs hmm and then two of wands here indicates a choice so some of you you have to make this choice right and this person is holding the globe the choice is yours basically is we're saying the choice is your is yours some of you could be regretting over certain bad judgment calls in the past um but spirit says you know that's part of the lessons with the high persist here one of the main reasons why we're here is to learn something right i just want to see just one more the fool in my first see some of you could be feeling like oh, i made a mistake i was such a fool I made the wrong judgment call maybe you've been lied to cheated on scammed and trusted the wrong people friends family it could be any anything anybody but i see all of that is ending soon i see there is a sense of you got two of wands again and a two of cups here two two so you're not gonna feel alone anymore virgo taurus capricorn you're not gonna feel alone anymore yeah because it feels like these two cards here appear later so for me it's an indication of now you no longer have to do or soon yeah if you're single soon you you don't have to do things alone even for some of you if it's like a business a career um maybe you're gonna be part partnering up with someone okay and you don't have to do everything on your own with the ten of wands here carrying all of the burden all the responsibilities now you can actually share and the future looks much brighter look at the yellow color here look at the globe even the globe looks pretty it's it looks colorful right all right virgo taurus capcom this is your reading i hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below feel free to subscribe to my other channel chelsea vlogs it's my travel channel i'm gonna leave it on the screen you can click on it, it takes you to my uh, second channel and yeah don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you like to be notified every time when i post your videos and i hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow take care bye